Update 6 on what is now Super Typhoon Neoguri with winds of 155 miles per hour and a pressure of 922 millibars. Its current position is 20.4 degrees north, 128.2 degrees east as of 2 a.m. UTC on July the 7th. The storm is expected to become a Category 5 Super Typhoon and could maintain that strength for 18 hours as it passes closest to Okinawa uh, on the Japanese Ryukyu Islands at that peak intensity, possibly with winds of a 165 miles per hour. The storm is then expected to cross um, between Japan and South Korea uh, as a Category 2 typhoon before moving towards the northeast and obviously accelerating that way uh, and then striking the northern coast of Honshu or Hokkaido and then moving off towards the northwest, uh, northeast rather, turning extra tropical. Uh, but immediate threat is to the Japanese Ryukyu Islands where it may strike as a Category 5 um, or at least past the area at that intensity. Gale advisory is in effect for all these areas, the Miyako and Yayama Islands Islands, Okinawa and the Dayato Islands towards the right hand side of your image there uh, further east. Uh, just north of there are the Amami Islands as well and we may see some warnings coming into effect for that region too. Sea surface temperatures where the storm is currently located are still very high and that's likely to continue until it makes it into the East China Sea beyond Okinawa um, and the other, other islands around there. At 30 degree temperature waters uh, for the next uh, day or two and then will fall to the uh, it will still be above the 26 degree threshold for around two days yet the cmc model then looking at the computer models the storm moves towards the northwest a bit further west than what the um current forecast is suggesting uh, very close to Miyako Island and then moving off towards the northeast with another storm forming near the northern Mariana Islands. GFS agrees with that by the way um, but takes Neoguri uh, very close to Miyako Island on the right hand side um, and then moving off towards the, um, the rest of Japan and possibly South Korea could have some effects from the storm too. So the latest satellite imagery you can see how the storm's been progressing a very uh, wide eye and that's been the case for quite some time perhaps looking a little bit ragged towards the end of that there uh, the northern eye wall perhaps looking a little bit less strong than what it was looking before but um, anything can happen with this storm and it looks like we could be seeing a category 5 uh, typhoon in the next 12 to 24 hours and maybe another flare up that could happen any time with that northern eye wall there which just seems to be thinning a little bit in the uh, in most intense part at least and we'll see what happens with that uh, but in any case, a very strong storm, mainly towards the southern uh, side of the eye wall at the moment, uh, the strongest part of the system. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, July the 7th, as of 2 a.m. UTC, a new invest has formed in the eastern Pacific, 98E. And 96S is still going in the southern Indian Ocean as well. And of course we have Neoguri, the strongest storm in the western Pacific since Haiyan. 35 tropical storms have formed this year so far worldwide. 14 of those have become Category 1 cyclones with 74 miles per hour winds or higher. 8 of those have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour or higher. So far this year we have had one Category 5 storm, that was Gillian in the southern Indian Ocean. None in the northern hemisphere yet, this promises to be the first. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. You can visit the website force13.com to keep you up to date on every single storm that's out there. The YouTube and Daily Motion pages, just search Force 13 on those. Um, you're probably on one of those right now. And of course, the video, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, social platforms, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13 on both of those. It's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch or um, if you'd like to share any of the videos or anything like that. Um, and you can also add Force 13 for tropical weather chat on Skype with myself personally if you'd like to talk some tropics. Uh, the next video on this storm will follow at 2pm UTC on July the 7th. That's late evening local time.